Welcome back guys, today is day 170. My name is Christian, today is daily Bible reading. Now, the other day I did mess up and I forgot the last six verses of chapter 27. So let me finish that up right now. This is Acts 27, 39 to 44. When it was day, they did not recognize the land, but they observed a bay with the beach onto which they planned to run the ship if possible. And they let go the anchors and left them in the sea. Meanwhile, losing the rudder ropes. And they hoisted the main sail to the wind and made for shore. But striking place where two seas met, they ran the ship aground. And the prow struck fast and remained immovable. But the stern was being broken up by the violence of the waves. And the soldier's plan was to kill the prisoners, lest any of them should swim away and escape. But the centurion, wanting to save Paul, kept them from their purpose and commanded that those who can swim should jump overboard first and get to land. And the rest, some on boards and some on parts of the ship. And so it was that they all escaped safely to land. Okay, so that was a portion I missed uh, a couple days ago. So now we'll finish chapter 28, verses 17 to 31. And it came to pass after three days that Paul called the leaders of the Jews together. So when they had come together, he said to them, Men and brethren, though I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, Yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, wanted to let me go, because there was no cause for putting me to death. But when the Jews spoke against it, I was compelled to appease to Caesar, not that I had anything of which to accuse my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have called for you to see you and speak with you, because for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. Then they said to him, We neither receive letters from Judea concerning you, nor have any of the brethren who came reported or spoken any evil of you. But we desire to hear from you what you think. For concerning this sect, we know that it is spoken against everywhere. So when they had appointed him a day, many came to him at his lodging, to whom he explained and solemnly testified of the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus from both the law of Moses and the prophets, from morning till evening. And some were persuaded by things which were spoken, and some disbelieved. So when they did not agree among themselves, they departed after Paul had said one word. The Holy Spirit spoke rightly through Isaiah the prophet to our fathers, saying, Go to this people and say, Hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I shall heal them. Therefore let it be known to you that the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had a great dispute among themselves. Then Paul dwelt two whole years in his own rented house and received all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no one forbidding him. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for all that you've spoken through your, your apostle and teaching us what we should do and what, how should we act, Lord. I thank you for this example and from leading him to through this life, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for my family and all my coworkers and anyone I come in contact with, Lord. I just pray that you bless them, you give them favor, and your peace, your grace, and your mercy, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, that's the end of Book of Acts. Go ahead and uh, click on the link on the screen if you want to go to day 171 for the Book of Romans.